Well, good morning. It's uh, a little after 5 a.m. I'm at the uh, lower Chinadome Trailhead right now. I'm gonna run uh, the full loop of the Chinadome Trail. Uh, it's 50 kilometers with including the road portion to get between the trailheads. Um, it's a little cold out. Uh, wasn't expecting it to be a little this, this cold and there's a little bit of a breeze. So it's gonna be kind of interesting up on the ridge line. Hopefully I'll uh, get up on the ridge by sunrise and uh, be climbing. Uh, we'll see, I'm just trying to wake up right now. It's gonna be a really big day. Um, I'm scared, <laughs> a little insecure, but excited at the same time. So it's gonna be a good day. to leave at 5. Ended up leaving about 5.15. Had a headwind on the road. It slowed me down even more. That and a 13-pound a pack. It's uh, a little slower than I anticipated. Again, I'm out of the wind. Um, about seven and a half miles into the trail, it got cold. It got really cold. Uh, the wind was really bad. I couldn't feel my hands. Um, I'm out of the wind a little bit now, but it was cold. But hopefully, it'll get warmer. Uh, don't know about 
survivors. But that plane crash means I'm 10 miles in with 20 and a half miles to go, I believe. Oh, three and a half hours have gone by. There's my objective. See you, Dome. See the summer off in the distance. So I go over that saddle, down that, and I'll climb it. More miles to the summit and about I don't know how many miles to go. <laughs> Just wanted to take a second, breathe. Gorgeous out. Still cold, <laughs> but it's getting better. The sky's cleared up. I forgot my sunglasses, so I'll be squinting all day, but can't really ask for it to be any better than this up here. Now to get up there. <laughs> I gotta learn to point. I gotta get up there. Closer. Well, I'm on top of Cheetah Dome, finally. Oh my God, I am beat. Only 12 miles in, I got 18 more miles to go. 19 more miles, I don't even know anymore. Look at the view. Well, I'm not gonna waste much time. I need to get moving. I got two and a half hours to cover the next seven miles. And it isn't easy. My trail. That ridge line. Follow it. How it s how it snakes all the way across the top and goes around. That's that's my trail. Magnificent, isn't it? So much time I spent walking. Okay, I deal with these rocks. <laughs> right there. I can't really run in it very well without possibly falling. So, taking it easy. Chewing up time. Ew. My backpack this trail was in 2014. Um, I had a friend of mine, Eric Christensen, was with me. He was uh, working seasonally here, and I had Equinox with me. And it was one of the most amazing backpacking experiences I'd ever had. I literally had my tent right here. It's kind of rocky and stuff, but it's really soft. It's nice. It's little view. Huh? right there 
Last 12 miles of my run. It's pretty amazing. This uh, cabin was completely falling apart and uh, some friends of mine came out and renovated it. Uh, the roof got replaced, the floor inside got replaced. I mean, they just completely overhauled it. It's just Drew Harrington, I couldn't thank you enough for, for all the work you've gone through for this. It's such a cool cabin. I'm gonna take a minute and uh, get water. I'm one hour ahead of schedule. So, I'll keep it that way. intermittent running and speed hiking a lot of a lot of steep hills and stuff so taking it easy my knees are getting kind of beat up Just kind of shutting myself off now ignoring things nine miles to go I'm sorry eight miles to go That's my last climb of the day right there. It's uh, it's a beast. It's uh, less than half a mile long. It gains almost a thousand feet. A uh, terrible place for a climb. Six miles to go. Isn't it pretty? I have exactly six miles to go now. 25 and a half miles in. And I'm just loving this view. Half my video shows me hiking, climbing. I promise I do run. It's just that the ground's so technical that I don't want to film and run at the same time and kill myself. It suck. See, I'm running. Three miles to go. Uh, I'm destroyed. I'm at uh, a little over 28 miles right now. Uh, the next three miles is all downhill, and I have a chance to go under 12 hours for the day. So uh, I'm not going to film anything, and I'll let you know how it goes with the car. All right, job done. 31. Point, almost 31 and a half miles. Uh, 
8,800 feet of vertical gain and uh, just under 12 hours, like 11.55, 11.54. So I'm happy. Um, mosquitoes are going crazy right now on me. So I'm just gonna cut this short. I gotta get this video done. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, get notifications when something new pops up. I've gotta go. I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys later.